it's Danielle with Cookie.com and I'm here to demo the Responsive Slideshow widget for you today. The Responsive Slideshow widget now partners with Muse's native Responsive Slideshows to create displays for your images that are responsive in all senses of the word. From the height of the slideshow within your page down to the specific placement of individual parts of your slideshows, like the caption and the next and previous buttons, each is able to be directly targeted. So if we place a slideshow onto the page, we can see that the slideshow is capable of being responsive, but with Cookie's responsive slideshow widget, we can take it that much further. Clearing the styling and the contents of this default slideshow, I'm going to add some images and change up the design of the slideshow as you normally would using the option panel and the Muse styling tools. Now I have my slideshow and I can drag and drop the widget right onto the margin of the page. Popping open the option panel shows you the different parts of the widget that drive all the customization for your slideshow. So up top, you're going to start off with the height. With Smart Live Height, each image either shortens or lengthens the height of the slideshow on the page. And so this all happens within the transition period from image to image. For slideshows that may include images that have varying orientations, it's perfect for keeping your content in line with your design. As the slideshow adjusts for each image, the content below the slideshow area will also be pushed. Percentage-based height is exactly as it sounds. Just select the percentage-based option and input the percentage of the browser height you would like your images to be in this area here. I'm going to add in 60% and then determine how you would like the images to scale to fill their content area. Once those things are done, the widget is ready to go and you can just move on to the next section of positioning. So if you select the Smart Placement checkbox, you can then determine exactly where you would like these parts of your slideshow to appear relative to the responsive slideshow. So as each image transitions and even as the browser height adjusts, the parts of your slideshow will stay consistent to the values inputted. You have the option to use Smart Positioning for the next and previous button, the caption, and the lightbox close button of your slideshows. So you can use this first dropdown to determine the general area where you would like those parts placed. And then take it down to the pixel using the horizontal and vertical areas here. Down at the bottom of the Smart Positioning section, you'll find the lightbox gap that allows you to determine the spacing between an image and the browser edge for lightbox slideshows. Now it's important that you add the same images found within your slideshow to the widget, and that leads us to the next section. This can all be done within the widget here in this images section of the option panel, or more easily in bulk by going to file, add files for upload, and then selecting the same images you previously added to your slideshow. The responsive slideshow widget is completely capable of targeting different slideshows on one Muse web page. You only need to place the widget directly next to the slideshow you would like it to control. So I'm actually going to copy this exact slideshow and place it on the same page, but let's make it have a smart height within this widget. Okay, so let's preview and check them out. You can see even side by side, these two different slideshows are both responsive as I scale the browser in this direction but pay attention to the percentage slideshow as it maintains its 60% of browser height height as I scale it this way. Meanwhile, the parts are continually maintaining their determined place. With this one widget, your slideshows can be that much more responsive. So that's all for the responsive slideshow widget. Check out the documentation for further details about this widget. This has been Danielle with Cookie.com. As always, thanks for tuning in.